Good morning, students. I, Chaliba Ma'am of the Public School CCL Gary is here to teach you a beautiful lesson, The Little Girl, written by Katrin Mace Mansfield, uh, that is there in, your, in the syllabus of Class 9 English. So, first of all, let's know something about the author itself, that is Katrin Mansfield. Let's see the picture of Katrin Mansfield and just show you the picture of the author. I hope you can see here. Now, let's know who is Katrin Mansfield. Mansfield. Catherine Mansfield is remembered for her dynamic short stories. She wrote beautiful stories like The Garden Party, The Fly, Mr. and Mrs. Dog. She was born in Wellington in New Zealand in 1888. She was uh, a modernist by nature and she was also influenced by writers like Virginia Woolf and Oscar Wilde. She suffered majorly from tuberculosis, a fetal disease, and died in the year 1923. So now let's begin with the chapter The Little Child. First, let's know something about the characters. Kezia, a little girl who is the protagonist of the story, Kezia, a little girl. In her family, she has a loving grandmother. She has a, a caring mother, but she has the strictest father in the world. And just beside her house, there lived McDonald's family. There, the situation is completely different. We will come to know gradually. Kezia is a beautiful girl, a little sweet little girl, but she is extremely afraid of her father. Just start. let us think about ourselves. Many a times it happens that in our life, when our parents are really strict on us, we feel that we have a girls or we have a parent uh, who, are, who does not understand our sentiment. But gradually, when in the long run in our life, we slowly come to know that whatever they have said, is just for our good. It's for our sake that they were strict like anything. So, it's just like that. It's the story which surrounds the relationship between parents and children. And why the parents are so strict with children that we will come to know. Now, Kezia, let's come to the story of the little girl Kezia. Kezia shares a very, uh, uh, there, there exists a gap between Kezia and her father. Her father never comes across her, or rather, Kezia never comes across her father's way. Only when her father was going out to his office, she, he comes and gives a formal kiss to Kezia and goes away. And he goes away in a carriage. Kezia, what is a carriage? It's a cart. It's a uh, compartment that was pulled by horse or something like that. So Kezia's father goes to office in a carriage. And when the sound of the carriage slowly descends or slowly disappears from the ear of Kezia, she felt, feels so relaxed that now in her house she can move about anywhere. She can do anything. She is now relaxed. Why? Because her father has gone away. So that was the relation between Kezia and her father. After in the evening when her father comes back from the office, what Kezia does, she just comes downstairs, she just peeks from the door and she sees that her father who has a gigantic personality, he was sitting in a sofa and, he, and what he was saying, come on give me a glass of water Kezia, pull out my boots, made up boot. Just uh, you take out my boots from my legs. And he asked Kezia that Kezia, where your good girl all the way around? And what Kezia says, I, I don't know, father. That means she stutters, she stammers. Why? It's just with her father that she stammers because she is extremely feared of that person. And her father gets annoyed and he says that if you, if you do not stop stammering, child, you are going to be taken 
to a doctor who is going to treat you. So that's the relation not between Kezia and her father. And she moves away and when she rushes down upstairs to, to her grandma and she feels relaxed when she couches on her lap and clowns to her. Okay, now what happens? It was her father's birthday. And she wanted to give something good to, her, to him so that she can impress him. Now her grandma suggested that why is here? Why don't you make a pin cushion for your father? So what she says, what she does, she keeps on stitching a pin cushion for her father. She uh, stitches all the three sides of the cushion. Now she it's the turn of stuffing that cushion with some papers. So she goes to the bedroom of her parents. And beside the, table, beside the bed, there was a table on which there were some papers, some bunch of papers kept up. So she takes those papers, she tears those papers into pieces, she puts dust it in that pin cushion and stitches it. So now what happens? The thing is ready, the pin cushion is ready and with a boosting heart, now Kesia is waiting for her father's arrival. The next morning, it was her father's birthday, but the situation is very abnormal. Her father is really annoyed, really uh, in a searching mood. He is searching for papers, for, her, for his speech paper, that the speech which is going to deliver to the board meeting room, and he's not getting that. Each and every corner of the house is searched off. His father is putting his hands back and roaming here and there, but he's not getting the paper. Finally, the only thing left over was a search in Kezia's room or, or a dig into Kezia. Her mother brought Kezia downstairs and asked her in front of her father that Kezia, have you taken some papers? And she accepted the fact that she has taken some papers unknowingly and she has torn it and put it inside that pen cushion. Her father said to Kezia's mother that take her in immediately into her room and just lock her up. Kezia moved inside her room. She, the entire atmosphere had changed. She slept in on her bed and she was peeping in from the window and she was experiencing a gloomy, some gloomy hours. She was really, really sad. Her father came inside the room and he said to Kezia that why have you touched anybody else thing without asking them? This is a bad manner and you should be punished so that you can remember this message that do not touch other thing without their permission. So he takes a key, he takes a rule and he puts it, puts one or two cane on the little palm of Kezia. Kezia was pain. After some time, her grandmother came. Tears were rolling down the cheeks of little Kezia. Her grandmother hugged her and went to the rocking chair and tried to sleep, uh, make her sleep. So the episode is over. Now, few days after, her mother, Kezia's mother was not well and she was admitted to hospital and she was accompanied by her uh, mother-in-law that is Kezia's grandmother. Both the ladies were out for some serious cause and in the house it was only Kezia and her father who was staying. It was the evening hour, her attendant or her nanny whose name was Alice, she put Kezia into bed and she said that my dear Kezia, in just the next room your father is sleeping and my dear you know how, how hot tempered your father is. So, do not have a nightmare today. Do not scream if you at all have a nightmare also. So, sleep quietly and be a good girl. And she goes away. It was the night time. And as usual, today also, Kezia has a bad nightmare. What she, what she viewed? She viewed a butcher who was carrying a rope and a strong knife and was moving towards Kezia. She saw that image of that butcher and she was shocked. She started screaming like usual and found her father beside her bed. Her father took her away into his room, put her just aside him in the bed 
and Tezia just uh, what to say just uh, put herself in a cozy manner in the arms of her father and clung she hold tightly her father's shirt because she was feeling extremely insecure and with the warmth of her father for the first time Tezia felt her father's love she realized for the first time that her father also loves her because by the time whenever she watches her neighbor McDonald's family always she sees she always watch that the father experiences or have a very uh, cordial relation with the children they played in the garden the boys threw some water from the pipes on their father's body and one child is kept on the shoulder on his shoulder and they they were playing like friends so she was uh, she simply misses her father she wanted her father just to be like mr mcdonald but she never had experienced the love of her, of her father but today when she really needed her father by her side he was there with all his love for her so there ends a beautiful story of little tezia a little girl who finally got his father her father's love so children never uh misunderstand your parents if they if they are ever strict with you they are strict for a good sense they are strict to mold your behavior to mold your nature so you just think that they are the best teacher of your life thank you so much stay safe basically